Hello, Soul Tribe, my spiritual warriors, little earth angels, back for another reading. Um, another coffee with Captain Reed. <clears throat> Slurp free. That's right. We do not want to trigger to, you know, we got to be careful with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Goddess 1111. If you're new, please stay a while, get you some coffee. It's kind of late for that, but have your drink of choice. And sit down and and uh, enjoy the reading. Uh, don't only read, I answer questions, and I do have some questions and comments. Uh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting, as to say the least. And, uh, I um, we're going to do a oh, read my description. Read my description, and it gives you a, a list. I probably should add some to that of disclaimers of what I'm not. Yeah, it'll probably be a whole lot easier if I just put what I am. I'm a tour boarder, uh, uh, a country boy. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot easier what if I would just list what I am. Uh but anyway. Uh let's see. Uh what else? Oh, I want to thank y'all for my subscribers, for those who like, share, who take the time to even watch. You are doing an enormous service to those who we will be helping. And we will help. I promise you. And the reason I smile is because I have a comment after the reading that I smile because of it. But we will, we will, we will help. I promise you that. This is, uh, um, oh, let's see. We're going to do a 21 card base, 48 card pyramid. Cap card will be the 48. Then we'll read the bottom and we'll go from there. Um, Prayed and I shuffled the cards and asked the Holy Spirit to give me a message to deliver to you. Something that you would need. Um, and I did swap. We did swap hitches today. We did a crew change. And so, 14 days to go. Hot dog. I can't wait. Get to go home. And see my bride. My bride, if you don't mind, if y'all don't mind, keep my bride in your prayers and some good energy. Uh, she went to the doctor and uh, she's a little nervous. She's a little worried about some issues that she has. But uh, uh, it, it, God's going to bless her. And I pray for her every day. Every day. Every day. Um, uh, what is? I think that's it. We'll go ahead and we'll start our reading. And, uh, well, uh, ooh, exit plan. Exit plan. I don't, everybody knows me by now. I don't read it. If you don't, I don't read one card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn a couple of cards. Guidance. Ah, somebody might have needed some guidance. This soul tribe. Spiritual guidance. Uh, my my. Um, perhaps you needed some spiritual guidance to develop an exit plan. We'll see where this goes, but I, I can see right now that that whatever spiritual warriors, whatever you was involved, there was something you was involved with that you wanted an exit plan from there was something that caused an issue and you needed to bail quickly i get this this feeling that like uh you know like anxiety I'm, I'm like i needed to we needed to like get this done yes but you were this, this somebody left you alone you felt alone You felt like you was in this situation by yourself. There was no help here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Exit plan, guidance, and alone. 
Yes, and this was not good timing for you. Whatever happened was not good. Mm -mm. This was definitely not good timing for you. <laughs> I am... <laughs> I'm getting the feeling. I, I hate to put it that way, too. But when I when I when I read these cards and I, you get the energy and, and the download from these cards, the Holy Spirit talking to you, talking to me in my head, and it's it's like the bad timing card comes out, and it's like they didn't give a shit, they didn't care, they didn't care about the timing, they didn't care how it affected you in no kind of way, they didn't care that you felt alone in this situation, that whatever happened. Whatever this is right here, yeah, you were drowning. Bad timing and drowning. Mm -mm -mm. Bad timing and drowning. You felt like you was underwater. And I am getting, this wasn't just a this wasn't just a soul tribe. This wasn't just a emotional drowning. This was a financial drowning. You were drowning financially because of something. Whatever it was, there was there was uh, spiritually drowning. You were under. You were going under. You couldn't. And uh, like I said, this was like bad, extremely bad time on your part. And you're crushed. You're crushed. I'm getting this uh, like a relationship type situation. Uh, like you and someone else. And it could be just a friend. It doesn't have to be like a marriage. Like in a divorce. It don't have to be that type of situation. It could be just a friend. A situationship. Perhaps you had all of the feelings and they didn't. Because that's what this appears. This appears that you like seriously loved this person. You were like. Who enamored with this person? You like, mm hmm. And it, uh, you were crushed. Yes. And again, when this lands next to drowning, bad timing, drowning, and crushed, I believe that this wasn't just a. wasn't just a emotional crushed I think this was a I think this was a um, yeah like financial crush I believe that you were sick too I think this was a physical you were sick you like emotionally I believe that you were like in, in a state of depression that you didn't couldn't couldn't figure it out. You didn't know why this happened and the quickness of it, the like the speed at which it, it took place. This took place really quick. But you are determined. You are a determined individual. You are a determined soul. You're not mm -mm, persistent. You are very persistent. Yep. An ending took place. Lands on the exit. Yeah. Ending took place. Hmm. Lordy, lordy. Ending took place. Yes, indeed. Yeah. What I was saying is I, I we did our crew change today and I swapped from, I work now, I work from 4.30 to 10.30, a.m. and p.m. That is my shift, 10 to, 4.30 to 10.30. And uh, when I, last two weeks, I was working from 10.30 to 4.30. So my videos will be posting most likely between 16.30 in the afternoon and 22.30 in the evening at night because in the morning it is very busy in the yes exit plan 
I just wanted to throw that in there. Yes, that was an ending. Somebody, they were like, oh man, they was like lying, gave you false hope and shit. They was like, oh, uh-uh. Yeah. And that affected the guidance that you was trying to uh, establish you because all of the false hope. Yeah. This went on for a little while, too. This went on for a little while. Possibly the ending, because you see these, I have four cards over here. Possibly the ending, I'm going to say, and I'm just going to put that out there. Possibly the ending started four years ago, four and a half years ago, it, it, it began to slip. It began to uh, lose traction, whatever it was, the situation, ship, friendship, relationship, whatever it was, began to lose traction. There was, and from that point on, that's when this took place right here. That's what all of this is. You, because of what happened, that you developed an exit plan and you you were, you didn't you felt like you didn't have anybody. You were if that was your best friend, you was losing your best friend. You know, put and it was extremely bad timing on your part because you had nobody. You had nobody else, and uh, you had to deal with all of this, everything that went on. You had to deal with it alone. Two faced. Two faced. And what that is, is somebody that was wearing a mask. They weren't be truthful. They were. They weren't truthful. Uh, uh, they and I, I'm getting that they still wear a mask because they're still not being truthful. This person has not changed. Whoever this is has not changed. They still the same. They may want to change, but they haven't. That's what I'm getting. They aren't. They have not changed. They are still playing with someone, not with you. I don't think that. I think that you. You exit the situation and you had spiritual guidance. That's what that is. You exit the situation with spiritual guidance. And I'm not saying that I did it. I'm saying that I'm just throwing that in there. <laughs> I have to make sure to throw that in there too. I did it. I don't think I didn't mean it as my channel or I did. I think that because of spiritual guidance, your exit plan, uh, you, you, you use that. And you were alone, and it was like it was extremely bad timing. But this person, you ended it. It was a, actually, I'm gonna be honest with you. They ended it because of whatever happened. You just you closed the cycle. You was like, I'm, I'm, no, we're done. We're done. We're not doing this. Whatever the case is. And this is a a, a reading that uh, ooh, devil energy, two faced devil energy. I mean, how much worse can it get, man? My goodness. Yes. Devil energy. I'm going to tell you. Devil energy. I'm going to give you a little bit of... Devil energy is this person has a... Could have a track record of... Bad relationships. Bad... Uh, whatever they get into, they they... It, it doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. It, it starts off fine, but then it goes to shit in a heartbeat. It's just like bad. And once that happens, they play the victim. They play like it's, uh, you know, and this, very, this person is a very addictive person, meaning they're, they're charming, they they charismatic. They very, very, could be very beautiful. I'm sure they are. Very beautiful, very handsome. This could, Jenna, you know, notwithstand, this could be a, a, a dude. They played mind games. They played mind games big time. And it was a, I just said that, a cycle. This was a vicious circle that they, they put you in. Mm -mm. Vicious circle, what this card says. The vicious circle is the part that, and 
when I was talking about cycles just now, and this devil energy is exact, exactly that. They, they go into a pattern of relationships, and it's over and over and over again. It's the same thing, possibly more than one lifetime. Depends on what this person is. If they are a twin, I'm going to tell you right now, it is more than one lifetime. They've done the same thing, cyclic. Bad habits, bad decisions, bad choices. They became distant from you. Exactly. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was saying, possibly four. I'm getting four and a half years ago. Could It can be longer than that. I'm just giving you something that I see. These four cards were by themselves when I said that. But this person was very distanced. And I, what I'm talking about, distant in uh, everything, intimacy, in love, in feelings, emotions. This person, like, didn't. They they went from love bomb to they did not care. They did not care. They didn't care that whatever was happening was hurting you. They did not care that if it was a financial situation at, if, that you were you were going to be stuck with. You were going to struggle for them. They didn't care. I mean, what kind of devilish individual? It, it double life. They were living a, a double life. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought this was going to be a different reading than what it is. It, it's falling right back into the toxic, freaking karmic individual that we get caught up with in some of these readings. And... Uh, I know that it gets monotonous at times. I don't choose the reading. I just read the cards. That's what I do. Double life. Mm. And I mean, it's right here with ending false hope in Two-Face. This person wore a mask. They, they, yes. Hurting. I think this person is hurting. I believe this person is hurting. It's either that or you. I know you were hurt. I'm going to tell you that. I already know that. You were devastated with this. You were crushed. The card right here is crushed. You were crushed. But I think this person was hurting. Yes. See that? Destructive. Toxic, destructive relationship. This person manipulated. Yes, exactly. I think that's what that is. Hold on. Let me see something. This hurting cord. Because just because someone is toxic does not mean they don't have any feelings. They do. They have feelings. They just hide them. And they, when they are alone or when they uh, in their closet, that's when they show their emotions, possibly. When they're with someone that they're talking with, that's when they show their emotions but I think that person is hurting and and depressed and in pain for what happened I'm getting I'm getting that feeling but they don't say they won't ever say or show because that two-faced card is right above toxic destructive uh, relationship manipulative gaslighting all talk all talk this person will make you promises that make you think that all talk and no action. That's what they are. And if they hate that, they hate that. I'm going to tell you this. If you're the type of person that called him out on things, they hate it. They don't like to be called out. Mm-mm. <laughs> They don't like to be called out. Yep. Facing it.
facing it. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Facing it. When, when, on this road, when it started out, you knew something wasn't right. You knew that you, your intuition kicked in. That's what facing it is. You, you, you faced your intuition. I think that you called him out on it too. I think that you told him what your intuition said, what it, what you thought. And of course, they deny everything. That's the, this person, that's the type, that's what they do. They deny it, which they know is true, but they deny it. Skeletons in the past. Skeletons in the past. Yeah, they deny it, but you know, they got so many skeletons in the past that it's unbelievable. Yeah. When they talk, their bones are flying out. Mm. Toxic people. They listen to some toxic individuals. That's exactly what bad advice. Wrong crowd. You want to read it for yourself? Bad advice. Wrong crowd. Toxic people. That's all part of their secret past. Yes. Mm. Not a good situation. Joker. Joker card it for them this was a game. And perhaps it could still be a game for them. Perhaps they they it could still be a game. Mm-hmm. They gave it a cold shoulder. Yeah, they ghosted you. They put separation, distance between you two. Distance is right here on this, right here. Mm -hmm. They put separation between you, uh, and there was a reason. There was a reason that that this happened. Empty. All of this left you feeling empty. All of it left you feeling empty. Lands on top of alone and bad timing. Guilty. Guilt. I think this person is empty. Yeah. Emotionally, I believe that's what that is. Cold shoulder. They play they played this game and this didn't turn out the way they planned, as I've said before in other readings. This did not turn out the way they thought it was. Mm -hmm. They ghosted you. They, sept they put separation between you two. Put some distance. And emotionally, they became empty. They, they like, and they possibly still are. They wear a mask, is it? I mean, it. And guilt. Apology, remorseful. Empty. Broken mirrors. Last reading I had, not this one, the one before that, I read in my blood cards, uh, when I read my blood cards, it had the same thing, broken mirrors. There was a card in there that I interpreted as a broken mirror. Same thing. This card comes up. Broken mirrors. This person, when they look in the mirror, they don't like what they see. They do not like what they see. Mm -mm. They don't like what they did. They don't like how it happened. They don't, they, and they don't in some situations, and I'm just going to say in some, not all, this is not going, this part will not resonate with everyone, but it will resonate with some. Especially if they watching, they, it's going to resonate with them. They don't even know why they did it. They don't know why they did it. Couldn't stop themselves, whatever the case is.
forgiving. I think this person wants forgiveness. Yeah. I think this person wants forgiveness. And I think that for this, again, this is not going to resonate with everyone. This is going to resonate with some. This cold shoulder, this guilt, this apology card. I, I, I get this feeling that there was never an apology. Never. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, deuces. Yeah, they, they, deuces, peace out. That's, that's what they did. That's what you did for sure. After you figured out this, after you figured out because of the guidance that you had, after you figured it out and you knew the direction that this was going, because it, I think that it had happened before. This is not a one-time situation. I think this happened before. Possibly. Not going to resonate with everyone, so y'all just... Once you figure that out, and this person ghosted you, gave you a cold shoulder, they whatever they, the case is, they want to act the ass or whatever. You're the one that said peace out, deuces. Yeah, deuces. Later. No contact. Yeah, you went no contact. When I'm telling you, you went. This person didn't know what a cold shoulder was until they started messing with you. You ain't cold. Yeah, there was no, there is, there have not been, I don't think, and, and that this is going to resonate with a few, not a whole lot, because there are some that ha they have made contact. They do have contact, but there's some that they like, we done. No contact. Don't call, don't, don't text, don't email. Be like, don't even, ain't no even, I, I'm not even going to answer a smoke signal. I mean, that's that's how hurt and disgusted you are with this individual. Yeah, and you have every reason to be. They know it too. That's why I said, I believe that this person feels an emptiness in them like they ain't never felt before. Because I think that is killing them. The guilt is killing them of what they did. The dirtiness that they did to you. Unfinished business. I perhaps they think they they believe, and maybe you too. Maybe you too. Maybe some people like they have to have closure. They have to. They got to have some type of closure. And for others, I'm one. I don't need closure. I close it myself. Yeah. I close it myself. Because Sometimes people, they just like, they, they have financial bankruptcy. They go through their struggle in their life and they, they owe and they owe and they owe and they, they dig a hole so deep they can't get out of. So they file for financial bankruptcy. Some people are emotionally bankrupt. Yeah, some people are spiritually bankrupt. And they don't realize it. They don't realize it until they meet somebody like me and I explain it to them. You see, the forgiveness part of it, the apology is, is important. It is. Because when you say you owe me an apology, that's a debt that you owe me. Because you took something from me. That's a debt that soul tribe and spiritual warriors, you owe, you owe to my soul tribe. And that's a debt you never paid. But it's okay. So you file bankruptcy and we forgive. We accept Whatever happened, we write off that situation and we move on with our lives. But you're going to bear the guilt of that bankruptcy for the rest of your damn life because you know you was wrong and you know how, I mean, the dirtiness involved with that. There was no reason for it. None. 
Well, that's all you had to do was just lose your ego and your arrogance, your pride, and walk up there and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Debt paid. But you still, they still, are, they're in some situations with this, they still have not even, no contact, nothing. They played a victim. That's what this is. And gender notwithstanding, I'm telling you, gender notwithstanding, they took advice from some, some toxic, most likely a group of freaking, they had like a narcissistic club that they went to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you join them clubs, but I bet you they had some narcissistic club that they went to and they listened to them and they shouldn't have. This was a divine person. This person should have been a divine soulmate for you. And they weren't thinking of you. This person thinks of you. you I, it may, may be both ways. It, mo, it, it may be both ways. Because a lot of people, they, they'll say, you know, I don't even think of them. It's kind of like impossible not to. I'm going to tell you this. If they're a twin, you can bullshit everybody else. But you can't bullshit me. I'm going to tell you right now. You think of them. Mm -hmm. there's, it, there's triggers throughout the day that happens that will trigger this the thought is what I'm saying there's a, a, a song a an ink pen there's something there's something throughout the day that coffee you may have drank coffee with this person <clears throat> I mean I put it like this with me and my bride that would be a trigger for me and my bride because we drank coffee in the morning her and I every we eat lunch. After lunch, around 1300 when I'm home, we have coffee. She may make a fig cake or, yeah. I don't, I, I told her, I don't know, no fruit cakes. I don't know fruit cakes in the house. No, no fruit cakes at all. <laughs> this person is thinking about, they're missing you. And in some situations, I believe it's, it's, uh, it's a mirror effect. You think of them also. Intimacy. Oof. Yes. If you were, if you weren't just a friend, hey, you could have been just a friend. Friends with benefits. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Friends with benefits. They could, you could have been that friend that you both got some benefit out of it. And whatever the case is, situationship, marriage, whatever the case is, if you were intimate with this person, this person thinking about it, there ain't nobody going to curl their toes again like you did. I don't care. They can search the world over. You know, because you can have intimacy. You can have the act of sex. You can have that. But you showed this person something that nobody else ever showed them. The love and the acceptance of themselves. You accepted them the way they were, the way they were, the scars that they had, the flaws. You accepted all of that, where others don't. No, for, for them, it's just sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Burned. Been burned. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. But I'm going to tell you this. And I know that I know I'm going to get me some comments when I say this. Don't be afraid to love somebody else. Okay? Guarded love. That's what I call it. Guarded love. Just guard your heart. You can love someone. Just guard your heart. Yes. You have a lot that, and, and when I say this, that you will heal for the rest of your life. That means that you're not healed totally. It's okay. It's okay. Perhaps the person you meet went through a similar relationship and y'all can help each other out. They could it, tell you, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's got the t-shirt. Let's talk about it. I'll tell you my story and you tell me yours. And we'll go from there. Don't be afraid to love again. Love is something that God gave you that you're supposed to share. Listen, you're not supposed to keep it. It's not supposed to be something that's stowed up and never, never released. 
the X. What the, I'm going to tell you that. This world right here is going to be about the X. It's going to be about the X. I can tell you another thing, too. A while ago, I said, we don't know what happened or what caused this situation. We do not. See right here? Love triangle. Oops. Yeah, they stepped out. That's exactly what happened. And they will deny it. Undoubtedly, they may deny it. May not. They may say, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm glad it was that easy for you to just say, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. That's part of the reason why they don't want to apologize. Yeah. That's part of the reason. Because they know that somebody like me, when they say that, be like, it was that easy. It was that easy. You put yourself in a situation where you, this is what Soap Tribe's going to say. You put yourself in a situation where you was tempted, which you shouldn't have. You was told that it was going to happen, and you did it anyway. Mm -hmm. So you purposely, you intended on hurting Soul Tribe. Because you knew it was. You knew it would. And you did it anyway. Wow. Imagine that. Amazing. Mm -mm. Undecided. That's the whole problem right there. They couldn't decide between you and somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yep. Undecided. <laughs> Terrible situation. I'm going to tell you. That it puts you in a in a, a raunchy situation. Yeah. They needed you but wanted somebody else. That's a terrible situation for them too. Because some bitch that they was going towards couldn't... Didn't have the means that you had. So they needed you, but wanted somebody else. God, dog. It. Mm -hmm. If I had some hair, the hair on the back of my neck would have just mm, be like, you just want to, mm. <laughs> You are extremely high value. That's exactly what I just said. You had the means. You are an empress. You are four queens in the deck. And that's just not a gender thing. This is an energy thing. You make things happen. You. Uh, there's a post on Facebook. And it said that. You know. You, you find a way. That's what an empress is. Yes. And if you can't find a way. You'll make a way. That's what an empress does. Yeah. They are beautiful. Sexy. If it's a man. Handsome. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Very confident. Pentacled up. And if you're not, you work hard for the pentacles that you do have. Pictures. I think that you have a lot of regret when it comes to this. I believe this is turning. The energy is turning. I can see it right here. Starts off with the X that's undecided on you some trash can fruitcake that don't have the means to support their ass and you do mm -hmm. but you're not fun you're not fun that's the whole problem everybody else was fun you're not fun they 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 broke as hell <laughs> they broke as hell because they always playing yeah, they probably drinking a lot. They use their money up on cigarettes and, and, and liquor. And, but they fun. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. I was fun too, yeah, when I was like that. When I was, back in the day when I was young, and I, would, I, I did partake in a little bit of spirits. <clears throat> well, I could dance like John Travolta, boy, when I was young. But I would cut a rug. I was like, God damn. Actually, I couldn't, but I thought I could. Looked like I was having an epileptic fit out there. I was like, damn, boy. What are you <laughs> That's what my bride said. What in the hell? Come here. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Dating. I think that this, this person, or you, you may be dating. You may be. You may, and this is like not dating. Like, uh, You may just be going with friends, having fun. That's what this is about now. Your life is changing. We we changed from the X. Then they weren't decided, so you decided. They were undecided, 
So you decided you were extremely high value. Somebody gonna latch on to that ass in a heartbeat. Be like, hey, I'll take him. I'll take him. Hell yeah. And you have a lot of regrets about what happened. A lot of regrets. Look at pictures, perhaps. And I have said this before. When it comes, if, if you have children with this person, you do not sanitize. Not that part of it. Mm -mm. No. Them babies deserve to, to be in a... A cohesive as as best as you can family situation. You divorced and you're not together anymore. You could be just separated. But they deserve that. Them babies do. And children need the support of both mama and daddy, not just mama. Yeah. And it's not about the money. It ain't about the child support. It's about the emotional support. I mean, you got to have the money too, but it's about the emotional support. Dating. I think that you are, because you're going to be going with friends and enjoying yourself, you may end up meeting somebody that... Hmm, be careful with some toxic love. That's what this is about. This is a warning card. Be careful about walking into again, just like I just said. Don't be afraid to love. And this is my opinion, not advice. So don't send no lawyer after me. I'm just saying this is opinion. Don't be afraid to love again. Just guard your heart. Toxic love. If there's some red flags go up, shh. Yeah, hit the eject button. <laughs> Got to go, boy. This be like... I know how to do this now. I learned my exit plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't be afraid. Absolutely. Any kind, any kind of red flag. If this person shows some type of addiction, no, that's not your issues. Don't don't take on stuff no more that you don't need to. You know. When you begin to love someone, you start taking on issues that you don't need to. Mm -mm. Vet them. And if they do have some addictions, hey, I love you. When you get all of that shit worked out and straightened out, shit, call me up. I'm going to still be around. Yeah. But I'm going to be having fun with other people until then. Yeah. Because when you love somebody, when you commit to somebody, that's part of the sacrifice that you make for that love is you give up things that you did before. You give up things for that person that you love that they got an issue with. You give that up. You don't you don't go back and you start doing things again. That you, no, no, ever because you are committed. In fact, oh, you could fall. Oh, you could become infatuated with somebody. This could be that's. This person right here that's infatuated with you. Because this is an obsession card. This card is, this person could be like seriously obsessed with you. Now, before they weren't. Because they had somebody else that they was going towards. Like I said before, perhaps they was going towards somebody. They needed you, but they wanted somebody else. When they got what they wanted, they figured out that ain't what I want. I want what I needed. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of confusing, but yeah, stick with me. We'll draw a picture. <laughs> uh, secretive, yes. Oh yeah, they they. This person, yeah, this is going back in the direction that it's this individual. This is not you. You are not secretive, and you are. You're definitely not toxic, and I don't believe you'll ever allow toxicity back into your life again, period. So I believe that this is this person up here that caused all of this, this rot, this this decay in your relationship. They, they are a toxic love. They are a toxic individual, and I think that they infatuated with you. They obsessed. They got a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. Ooh, part of the secrets is they, they watching you. They snooping. They some snoops. They snoops. Creepers. Stalkers. Haters. Yes. Mm hmm I think so. They secretly watching you. That's what that is. They infatuated with you. 
Yeah. They're infatuated with you. They secretly watch you. Can you imagine? But they avoid you. They avoid you. Yeah. I know some people. I'm going to just put that in the family. Mm -hmm. Been de I've dealt with that before. Where they know their ass is wrong. And when they wrong, and they know they wrong, they avoid you because they can't deal with the guilt of seeing you. They can't deal with, they know what they did. That's this situation right here. Avoidance is, the, they, the, the guilt leads to avoidance. It's easier to avoid you than to just come out and say, I was wrong and I am sorry. Really am. Don't know what to say. It may not you may not reconcile and it may never be restored. Doubt that it will. But you're going to have the satisfaction of saying, I did what I needed to do. And if they don't ever do that, that's fine too. Because you forgave them. You moved on. You accepted it. You're having fun now. Mm -hmm. Possibly dating. Yeah. Yeah, this person childish, immature. They didn't... That's all part of the avoidance thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all part of it. This person, they, they learn that as a child to uh, children do things like that. Yeah, they, they, they hadn't developed that, the courage to face whatever they did wrong. And so children avoid that. Uh, in this situation, it's the same thing. Children will turn around and play the victim. This person, that's probably, most likely, in most situations, that's what's going on. They play the victim. Like, it's it's your fault that all of this happened. How, I don't know. But they, they, they will give you some kind of made-up scenario that, boy, they will, she, <laughs> they will hem your ass up quick and say, yeah, it's your fault. Mm-mm-mm. They hide their feelings. Yeah. They hide their feelings. They, they, they portray it as cold and detached. Yeah. Mm. You know what that means is this person truly loves you. This, whoever this is. I don't think they know what the meaning of love is. Or they got some sick definition of it. But they, they, you showed what love is because you were committed and you sacrificed a lot for this person. What, and they didn't. They didn't. They, they, you weren't enough. You was never enough. They wanted more and more and more. That's why they went to what they wanted. They went towards something they wanted. I think it's something that may have come out of their past. And they went towards that. But they needed you. They needed you. Because when they got to where what they wanted, it wasn't enough. And they had to go back to what they had because that was enough. They figured it out. that Nothing is ever going to be enough for this individual right here. Nothing. I don't care what you do, nothing will be enough. See what else. Oh, you know what I should have told you is soul contracts, soulmates, partnerships, spiritual union. I, uh, hold on a minute. I, uh, I incorporated two decks, the Broken Mirror deck and the Shadow Love Oracle deck. I incorporated these two decks together, and I forgot to tell y'all that. I, I apologize, but anyway, soul contract. Perhaps this person got an awakening right here where it says snooping. Uh, with the snooping, it, it, this can't apply to tarot readers or psychics. And perhaps they sought uh, guidance. Perhaps they sought 
information from a tarot reader or a psychic, and they can be both. They don't have to be separate. There are psychics that also do. I I know one that does. Uh, I I say I know. I know of. I don't know them personally. I met them once or maybe twice. Uh, but other than that. Uh, and I'm not going to say their name because I don't know. I mean, I don't have that permission to do that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect them that way. But uh, they are very, very well known in the psychic medium community. Soulmates, soul contract. I think they may have figured that out because they did that. They went to a, oh yeah, twin flame. 11-11, twin flame. I think that's what happened. This person got an awakening. They know now. And if they know and they're not taking action towards it, makes it worse on them. I'm going to tell you that. Makes it worse on them. They will get beat down by karma like they ain't never been beat. They will beat them like a Hebrew slave. Yeah. Pun. No, I mean, don't, don't take it. It's, it's not meant to be negative, but... Yeah. The Egyptians did beat the Hebrew slaves. Uh, but this person will get beat down big time. Because once you awaken and you know, you're supposed to go towards your twin. You're supposed to come in union with your twin. You're supposed to, it is the, the, the dynamic of being a runner and a chaser and blah, 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 blah. That shit ends. You once you know you are supposed to come towards you, you're supposed to try to maintain get into union with your because you have a divine purpose, you have an assignment you have to fulfill. I know what mine is. Yes. Yes. There's certain things in our life we want to do, but we don't because uh there's obstacles in the way. Certain things. Sometimes now with the the internet and YouTube and Google and Facebook, all of that, you can overcome a lot of those obstacles. Just like I wanted to be a missionary. At one time in my life, I wanted to do that. But I couldn't. I had responsibilities that I couldn't walk away from. But now I can. I, through YouTube, spiritual guidance. I can deliver messages to people. And, and I can help people and never leave my home. Never. I don't have to give up my responsibilities that I have. I can still do it. You can too. Whatever whatever your reconciliation. This is the cap card. Reconcil this person, I think eventually, maybe not now, maybe and it's going to be too late by then, possibly, who knows. I think that this person may. I don't think it's going to be you. I don't think that. Because you 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 exit the situation with the guidance, spiritual guidance. You exited that. And this was a terrible time for you because bad timing, drowning, and crushed. But you were determined and you came out of it. That's why I said I don't think that this is going to be you. No, I'm sorry. But I do think that this person will want to. You see, after they go and they have their fun and do all of the things that they want to do and and they they accomplish all of the all of the activities that they want to accomplish while you over here you working and you trying to keep keep things then they want to come back. They want to have they want to yeah. I didn't want you, but I do need you. Hmm. Yeah. Too late, I'm sorry. Whew. Yep, I was. I started dating, and I found somebody else. This, this soulmate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they. Yeah, they, 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 they like. They got my back. So you. <laughs> Too late, tangle. I got this upside down. Uh, tangle web on the bottom of the card. Uh, bottom of the deck. I'm sorry. This person weaved a web that they can't get out of right now. Something is is. They, they are tangled up in something. 
they are tangled up in a web that they cannot walk away from. For whatever reason it is, I don't know what it is, but and they are worried about their public are tangled again. What? Public image. They worry more about their public image than anything else. It's all about clout with this person. It ain't about the person that I love, and it ain't about anything like that. When a situation like this, some bitches will sacrifice their family because they're more concerned about things they shouldn't be. What they should be concerned about is the spiritual aspect of things. Worry about the people that they love that are committed to them. The people that are committed and sacrificed for you, that's who you go towards. That's who you stick. That's who you keep close. That's who I want in my circle. I don't want some son bitch that's worried about public image. No, hell no. I want somebody that says, I don't care what people think. I don't give a damn. That's what I want. I don't want, I'm more, I want somebody that says, you know what? I love Cat Marie. I love, that's what I look for. I want somebody that's loyal, that, that they have integrity. This right here, they, they have no loyalty because they're going to go to it. They want to look good and they will sacrifice everything to look good. They will lie. They got no integrity at all. They will tangled again. Tangled. I'm telling you, this person is unable to free themselves from some web that they got involved in. Toxic people. Whoever they involved with, they are in, my God, a show off. Again, public image and a show off. My goodness. Be like, boo, you need to Self-righteous. Oh, Lord. I hate that. I can't stand self-righteous assholes. I don't like them. I don't like them, okay? My bride says, you need to like them. You need to love everybody. I don't like them. See that dude? He smoked. He, 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 he. You see, he, that's what they call that. See that dude? Yeah. You want to say it again? And Cajun French, that's what we call it, Grimons. You see that face there? That, oh, Lord. He's like, he all that and then some. He ain't about shit. Broke, broke fruit cake. Let me see what I'm envious. Oh, Lord. They got a plan. They're planning something. That follow envy. They're planning something. And envious is a, a, a jealous hater. They're spiteful because you you are achieving whatever your goals are. You like successful. You you don't need nobody. If there's somebody in your life in your circle, that's because you want them there. You don't need them. If if you know if they want to take off, you know that's fine. Stubborn, a jackass, some jackass that got involved in a love affair. Oh, Lord, that is. That's the word right there. See that word? Y'all see that word? Turd. A freaking turd party. There it is right there. Evidence. That's all I need right there. If that, if this spread was about my bride, I'd be like, boo, that's all I need right there. You, who's the turd party? Just give me a name. Just tell me who that fruitcake is. Red flags. There's a bunch of red flags. They got a lot of fighting in whatever situation they're involved in. It's a damn inferno over there at that, at that place. Lord have mercy. Whew, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. It's just pretty much... Uh, uh, obviously, it's something that the Holy Spirit thought you needed to know. A message for someone that it's going to resonate with. Uh... Mm -mm. We're going to answer a couple of questions and then we'll shut it down. Yep. Yes, indeed. Oh, Lord, let me just push this out the way so I can answer some questions.
I can hear somebody in the background. They're like, just just answer the questions, brother. Just uh, <laughs> uh let's see. Kimberly. <laughs> I like I like when somebody brings up that I didn't answer that question because I forgot or I overlooked it or whatever the case is. I'm human. I'm human. Hi. You never answer my questions. Why? I do not dream. Kimberly. You dream, boo. Everybody does. You dream. Yeah. That is a, a, is, is something, see like this computer. Okay, this computer, unless we power that computer down. And what I'm going to tell you this is, is uh, until you become room temperature, you never shut down. Your, your, your brain don't shut down. Your brain is still active. Your brain is still telling your heart to beat and for your lungs to inhale and exhale. So your, your computer never shuts down. But when you assume room temperature, it will shut down. Mm -hmm. They may shock you. Yeah, they may shock you. And they may they may turn it back on again. But other than that, your computer never shuts down. So you breathe. This computer's always working. There's always something going on in the background that we don't see right now. I don't see, but there's something that's going on. You do dream. You just don't remember your dreams. That part of your your brain don't don't um, your readily available memory is not working properly for whatever the case is. Maybe it hasn't been developed. It takes time, I guess, to develop that. And uh, I've had a conversation with somebody else about the same thing. Why they don't? I say you do. They say no, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That is a subconscious activity that you have no control over and one day you're going to get a dream and that's possibly going to be a message from your ancestors or god if that well if you want to believe that it's your ancestors that you should whatever the case is source the universe but you do dream i hope i answered your question but when i apologize for not for overlooking it i'm i'm so thankful that you brought it to my attention because I hate that when I, I miss a, a question. Terry on Messenger. Oh, I showed I showed my mess deck. That's what that is. I showed my mess deck. Captain, for a man, you have a very neat and beautiful penmanship. Yes, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of practice. I'm going to tell you that. When I was a little kid, you know how when you're a little kid, they well, back probably don't do that now, but back when I was a little kid and I was in school, and it's like, they made me write some, some sentences, like over and over. I'm talking about like I write a lot too. And like read, you know, I will not talk in class. I will not talk in class. So I had a lot of practice yet. Yeah. Uh, I will stop looking out the window. I will stop looking out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had a lot of practice. They, they, my teacher would be like, I, I would write so much that I, it developed. And that's the reason that I do have a neat handwriting is because, yeah, they, they, boy, they would put it on me when it, mm -hmm. I love my teachers too. Uh, please, oh, Tim, Tim says, please enlighten us with a, 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 uh, a Cajun joke. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, and oh, I have another one from somebody that talked too much. That's the thing. Talk too much. That's the handle. Talk too much. Let's see. Boudreaux. I'm gonna I'm tell you this one. Boudreaux and Thibodeau. Boudreaux and Thibodeau. Boudreaux and and his bride got married. This is a Boudreaux and Thibodeau joke, but, but Thibodeau not included in this one. Boudreaux and his bride. They they got they were got married. They're on their honeymoon, and they're having a, a major freaking fight. First fight they have on their honeymoon, throw down, horses. It wasn't nothing nice. It was bad. It was a big one. <laughs> After a while, going back and forth, Boudreaux told his bride, 
He said, when you got married, when we got married, he said, you said I promised to love, to honor, and obey. Didn't you? She said, yeah, I did. She said, but let me tell you this. When I said that, I didn't want to start a fight right then and there at the wedding. <laughs> so that's the joke. She was waiting till, uh, till she got out. She didn't want to. She don't want to do that at the wedding. Uh, uh, she, she straightened that ass up when she she got to the hotel room mm -mm, or the resort or wherever they went to. Uh, let's see. Talk too much. That's the comment that I was telling you all about earlier when it comes to. Captain Google, this is what the, the Captain Google doesn't take as long as you're saying to deposit funds. Uh, personally, I think you're the scammer. <laughs> personally, I think you're the scammer. You are collecting and made no charitable donations as of yet. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Talk too much. I appreciate the, the comment. And most people would take some serious offense to that. I don't. I don't because I'm not scamming. I really am not. You know, I'm, I, it, it has taken a while, and I admit that. And in on in, it's mostly on my part, not Google's part. It's my ignorance in technology and things like that that has hindered the process. But the money's still there. The funds are still there. Yeah, I posted and I'm going, when I'm finished with this, I'm going to upload this video and I'm going to post again. Another update. It, the money is still there in my uh, YouTube account. And I have created a Chime account that is going to be a debit account and a savings account with that. I am going to be able to use not for not the charitable donations. This is going to be something different. It's it, there is a a credit card that comes attached to it, and okay. And I'm going to keep you updated. This is not something I want to hide. I'm not hiding this from anybody. I promise you that. I made a promise when we started this. If if before, I would rather not do it at all than have you not trust me. It's important to me that you trust me, and I, I do understand that you may think that I'm scamming you, but I'm not. And I the reason, as far as I know, I am the only person ever on YouTube that posts all of this like I'm doing. No one else does. No one else. Everyone, and, and I don't fault them for that. That's not nobody's business. In this situation, it is your business because you're involved. This is your charity as well as it is mine. So, as of yet, you're right. I have, I have not donated. I do donate. In fact, when I'm going to post this, you're going to see on on there, there's like $150.19. The $0.19 cents was the test that Google sent to that account. And you have to acknowledge it. And I got that wrong at first, so I had to we had to redo that again. But I had to tell him, yeah, I got the 19 cents, and then they was like, oh, they got all thrilled, and they said, oh, boy, he got the 19 cents. Okay, the 150 dollars is mine. I am the one that's I use that to send to Wesley. That hundred dollars that's in there will be going to Wesley on Friday. Okay, I sent him. I'm going to send him that on Friday. All right, that is all part of it. At, that was just my part. Uh, I want I have my test. I wanted to test Chime to make sure that this was all working out correctly because I don't want to do something and then we got a bunch of issues. So it was just kind of like a test thing for me. I took from my account, I put it into Chime. That worked out fine. Now I'm going to tested and we're going to send it to Wesley in Kenya, my Kenyan connection. We're going to test that out, see if that works out. If it does, perfect. Mm -hmm. From that point on, we're going to send it however, because I'm going to know that it's going to work. But please, have some patience with me. 
I'm not offended that you think I'm a scammer. Hell, I probably would feel the same way after somebody been saying that this and this and this. But I am trying to keep you updated, post putting the, the stuff on the community board and keeping up with it. And I'm, I'm trying to be as transparent as I can. I mean, I don't know what else to do other than, but uh, I do love you. God loves you and I love God and I believe I put all faith and hope in God and I, 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 uh, please just give me a chance with this and we'll get this right. I promise you that come November, if when they make the deposit, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post the, the chime page. I'm going to post how I send it, which it be world remit. World Remit is going to get it. So, and I'm going to, the savings part on Chime will be for taxes. That's going to stay, and it may increase with the donations, but that's going to be for taxes. I love you big, big, and I hope I explained it well enough. Whew. And I know you get bored with it, but anyway. I love you big, big, big time. You cannot ever, don't ever doubt that I don't. And I'm going to shut this down. Ten, nine.